I again created you to live in paradise. But paradise is something you have to choose. It's not something I can force upon you. I can for not force my love upon you. The intrinsic quality of love is that it's free to give and free to receive. The Lord created us out of nothing as a free gift to us to have life, to share the meaning of love, to share in love. And those of us who accept his love know what paradise is. Because he rules our life, because we measure up to his standards. And Sandra, in her own, in her own inimitable way, putting up with all the dorkiness, huh? and all the stupidities of childhood, that all was done to our mothers, especially. <laughs> Dads are always working outside. <laughs> Moms were sort of captive in the home, and we could uh, do more to mom than, than almost to dad. Although when we get older, we really appreciate both of them. But what they showed us that no matter where we go, there's one person in life that will love us and forgive all of, again, all, all our childishness. And many of us are seven, eight years old, we're still trying to come mature. We still see the child at, at times. But they're able to, they have a heart that can forgive and embrace. And, and, and they tell us, and my mother's still talking to me, and your mother will talk to you, young man. <laughs> I know you're going to be great. Your name might not be in newspapers and the like, but you are going to live a life that models Christ. You live up to that measure. I try to show you my way, how I can do it. I want you to do even better than me. To be able to love and embrace everyone who comes into your life. That's what the paradise is, and the hymn to the church, where we're all remembering again how Adam and Eve lost paradise, yet how Christ came to restore paradise to us. We sort of a way to get back to that by joining with him, and that we can, with him, have the resurrection, not by our own power, but by his power. And there's an icon as you leave the church to my right and behind there. It's Christ holding the hand of Adam and Eve, pulling them out of the depths of hell, with the gates of heaven broken and the, ch let, uh, the chains of death matched wide apart in order to lift us out into this new life. But it's a beautiful one. That's what Christ accomplished for us. But finally, I just wanted to reflect on something that was in Scripture today. In the Gospel reading of St. John, that, again, Spoke these years back and keep speaking to me. And the dead in Christ, the dead in Christ will rise first. And we will come together with them to be in the clouds and meet the Lord in the air.
the man who had had an operation and he was confined to his bed. I went to a hospital bed in, in Alameda. And every time I, and, and I go there and he cursed the doctors, putting him in this position. It was all the doctor's fault that he could not get out of bed. <clears throat> I ministered to him for eight to ten years. And I couldn't convince him to change his way of life, that frame of mind. He was still agonizing and still hurting and still looking for revenge to get even with the doctor who caused this. Isn't that a hell? Who created it? God sent him to hell? No. He could not forgive. He could not say, okay, with the grace of God, I'll survive this and I'll be a better man. Live in his own ministry, in his misery. That's what hell is. So God has not sent us there. He sent we create our own hells. Good news is we also create our own hells. And when we have people who show us the way, who can embrace us with all our faults, with all our weaknesses. Moms have that capacity that's amazing, okay, to be able to do that. And also again, hold up the hope of it because they have the faith. My son, my daughter, is important because it was created and she was created by God. It's so important that, she, that they're going to bring other people to know Christ, know God, and experience love. That's what my, our, my child, children to know. That's what my grandchildren to know. Know Christ, know his love. That's what Sarah wants. For her, for her children, her husband, her brother. Mother and father, family, loved ones. Experience the love of Christ. Begin to way. Embracing, forgiving, uplifting, encouraging. Gentlemen, I hope you hear mom saying, stand up, walk tall. Mm. My son, the other words of the Lord. Stand up, walk tall. Hear my son and daughter.